Jorge Lo Que Mi Gente. Welcome back to yet again another video because I already recorded two today. This is going to be the third one on the channel. Um, so Shoto Todoroki got announced. Finally, we got a release date. It's actually within a week's time if you want to get them separately. But if you're going to buy the, se the second season pass, uh, you're going to be able to get them this Friday, which is pretty lit. Uh, because I have a different version of Jump Force from another region. I get my DLC at midnight as opposed to the American version that gets them when the PSN store updates, which is the middle of the day, by the way. So I'll have like a good eight hours ahead of not even eight, like a half a day, if not uh, a little more than that, to be able to play around with the character, be able to kind of showcase the character for you guys and all that jazz. It's going to be pretty lit. Uh, but I also think that the way they're doing this, this DLC one by one like this, instead of it being like two at a time or whatever, I know there's less DLC and they're being very careful. It seems about what kind of like information they drop in the game files for, so the data miners don't get to it because if the data miners could only get one character out of there, instead of like the entire like cast that they had planned for the past. It tells me that they're really trying hard to make sure that data miners don't get their hands on any more information that they need to. But they're not going to be able to stop that. At least I don't think so. Because um, once Todoroki releases, I'm pretty sure there'll be new files that they'll be added into the game. The data miners are going to be able to maybe uh, decrypt and figure out. So anyways, I'm going to leave the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Are you hyped for Shoto Todoroki or not? Dude, Friday cannot come sooner. That's all I'm saying. Okay, people, I'm out. Peace.